to the Chesapeake Chamber Music Festival. This is the 35th season, and of course, we're doing it all online. So welcome to our home. This is Tara, and I'm Hi. Danny. <laughs> we're married. Yes, we are. Quarantining together Yes, here. yes. So welcome to our home on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And uh, we have a nice, interesting, eclectic program for you. Pieces by Telemann, Baroque composer, J.S. Bach also, um, Polish contemporary composer Robert Mijinski, a crazy new piece by a Dutch composer that Tara will tell you about later, and a Schubert song to finish up. See you in a few minutes. Welcome to our living room. And just in case you're curious about uh, what you see besides us in the room, over here is a photograph by a Navajo photographer named Leroy Dijoli. And we bought that at a street fair in Santa Fe. Uh, the piano is our 1905 Beckstein, which I inherited from Uncle Howard. And what you'll be seeing most of is this amazing painting by Terrico Wild, who was an artist who we met in Taos, New Mexico at the Music from Angel Fire Festival many, over the last many years. And we bought that on the occasion of our 20th anniversary. And for instrument buffs, I will be using not instruments made by, by uh, dead Italian people, but a uh, people that I have uh, email addresses and can talk to on the phone. My violin is 2017 Samuel Zygmuntovich, made in Brooklyn. And my bow is by Charles Espy, who lives in Fort Townsend, Washington. And Tara will be playing on her gold Haynes flute, which she commissioned. The first piece on our program is a canonic sonata by George Philip Telemann. Uh, Telemann was a contemporary of Bach, and he was actually more successful, got better jobs and whatnot, which is very hard for us to believe today. But he was a genius, as you'll hear, because this canonic sonata, it's a cannon, which is like a round, like row, row your boat. And so we're literally reading off the same piece of music, except that I start a measure late uh, than Tara does. It's in three movements, fast, slow, and fast.
next work on the program is by Robert Mashinsky. He was an American pianist, composer, and teacher. And he is well known for creating these beautiful long lyrical lines in slow movements and in fast movements, these irregular meters with accented patterns. It's very exciting. And this is certainly the case in his Opus 24 duos. There are a few versions of the work, one for two flutes, one for flute and clarinet, and today's version is going to be for flute and violin. And there are originally six movements in this collection, but we're doing four of them for you today. The first one features a long, luxurious flute line over a slowly ascending violin line. The second movement is a quirky dance that features these accented rhythms I was speaking about earlier. <clears throat> the third movement is probably the most profoundly musically, and it is certainly the longest. Mashinsky captures this feeling of loneliness and deep expression, and the contrast between the two is really profound. And this set ends playfully with unison rhythms and quick interplay. Next on the program is me playing the G minor solo sonata of Bach. Uh, we're not really sure why he wrote these pieces. They're kind of unplayable, really. And uh, the, the idea is they're all on the magnitude of his greater either orchestral or organ works. And somehow he had the idea to reduce a major work into one little violin. So uh, it's something all violinists know. Uh, I teach them all the time. All my students are always playing some Bach. And um, anyway, it's, it's in four movements, adagio, and then a fugue, which is a, a three-part horizontal composition. So basically, I'm playing three parts at the same time. Then a Sicilian, which is kind of like two parts at the same time, and then a very fast presto at the end, which kind of rivals the difficulty of Paganini. So here I go, I'm gonna go try. Thank you. 
Get ready for something kind of crazy. The next work on the program is by Dutch composer Jacob TV, and he has made this unique niche for himself in the world of classical music. He's named a rock musician in a classical disguise. Jacob TV unites this gamut of musical and political influences to create a voice that stands apart. He has this unique ability to bridge the differences between classical music, romantic, rock and roll, jazz, blues, and minimalist traditions, combined with raw samples from things like political speeches, commercials, documentaries, and in this case of this piece, lipstick, talk shows and interviews. Lipstick is in the genre of Jacob TV's boombox works. The notated live music is accompanied by an electronic soundtrack based on speech melody. The accompanying tape that Lipstick uses um, is comprised of these desperate conversations about human relationships of pre-recorded American talk shows, which are very rich, as we know. And it's, that's the primary material of the work. And you'll see Billie Holiday reciting the text of her favorite song, 
don't explain. Phrases such as skip that lipstick and I know you cheat and what love endures are interspersed with a different voice representing a relationship therapist counseling these desperate talk show guests. And another uh, word that you'll hear, another sentence you'll hear in this is, you are jumping all of those hoops, and that's really from the, the therapist who's talking to these desperate talk show people. And these snippets of pre-recorded material are layered and manipulated to create a rhythmically uh, interesting tapestry of sounds that weave in and around the solo flute part. Lipstick utilizes heavily edited, stylized, and repetitive found audio samples of speech to derive musical gesture and create this rhythmic drive. It's also accompanied by kind of a wild video. So you'll see on two screens when you look at this video. And on one side, it's the flute part that I recorded to this electronic soundtrack. And then there's this video that goes with it that's pretty active. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
You are jumping. All those hoops. Jumping hoops. Jumping hoops. All those hoops. You are jumping. You are hoops. You are jumping. You are hoops. You are all those You are hoops. You you are you are jumping. All those hoops. You are jumping.
last on our program is an arrangement of a very well-known Schubert song, Stenchen, for flute and piano. So, uh, piano would be me, and I haven't played piano in public in a very long time. But I took piano lessons until I was 17, and uh, actually I love playing the piano. But it's hard for me because even though this piece is easy, it took me hours to learn. <laughs> So um, anyway, Stenchen is a, the song is a, is a, it's a, it's a story of a, a lover beckoning uh, his or her lover to join him or her, as many songs are about. And uh, so here we go, and I'm hoping to get through it without too many mistakes. Thank you so much for joining us today for this concert in our home. We've enjoyed playing for you and we hope you've enjoyed it as well. And be safe, be well, and... Time to walk the doggies. Time to walk the puppies. Okay. Bye everybody. Bye -bye.